Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how easy and quickly it is to make Windows 8 or 8.1 look and behave like Windows 7 with a start menu. So Windows 8 or 8.1 usually starts up into this Metro start screen which we can see here and basically what you get are a lot of tiles on the desktop basically showing you all the software and utilities that have been pre-installed there's probably a lot of things there that you don't want it can be very confusing very overwhelming and not very helpful clearly designed for a touch screen or a tablet and you can click on this desktop tile or go down to the, the icon in the bottom corner and it will flip over to what looks like a Windows classic desktop that we're used to but a, a closer inspection it really isn't the, um, the normal Windows desktop environment that we're used to it has what looks like a start button but when we click on that that just flips us back to this annoying uh, metro screen and uh, we can go back and forth between the two and if we right click on what we'll call the start button we get a, a menu but it's very unhelpful there are options here that we just wouldn't use in a day-to-day -day environment a power user might use them but not really anything that we will find helpful control panel maybe a file explorer we can use to um, look around on our computer there's a search and there's a run and there's shutdown options but really there's no start menu to help us find the programs that we want to run and uh, on the desktop there's a few icons that come pre-installed nothing to help us really there at all so it's it's very frustrating and hard to work with and what I'm going to show you is by downloading a very simple uh, completely free utility we can actually get Windows 8 to look and behave like Windows 7 with a classic start menu uh, that we're used to and uh, that we probably miss quite a lot so the first thing we need to do then is to come down to the taskbar and find the Internet Explorer icon and we'll open a web browser and we'll go to a, a search engine now I prefer Google you can use whatever you want to but here in our search engine we type in classic shell and run a search and this will hopefully return some search results and at the top will be the website we're looking for www.classicshell.net so there it is now if we click on this web link it'll take us to uh, the Classic Shell website where we can download this completely free utility so this is what the website looks like you'll know it's the right one it has this blue shell icon it's a very basic web page and this is where we can download this utility which when we've got it installed will give us a working environment that we're familiar with and can actually <laughs> do work with now this is completely free but there is a donate button I'll just point out if you wanna if you like this utility you can come back uh, at your discretion you can donate something to these guys because I think they deserve it but for now we're just gonna click on this download button here and begin the download process Now it'll take us to the download page which will be automatic and uh, after a few seconds the download uh, bar will appear at the bottom and we can actually run the program from here to install it or we can click on the save button to save it first but what I'm gonna do is just click this little arrow and do save as just so I can show you this process where you can choose where to save files to and we're gonna put it in the downloads folder which will make it easier easy for us to find in the future so we're gonna download it to here so we'll, we'll save that and it will save it will download and save very quickly and again we can choose to run it now uh, if we wanted to but I'm going to close uh, this browser session and show you how by right clicking on the start button we can go to uh, the file uh, 
browser file explorer open that and we can browse through it's there right there in front of us downloads or we can browse to it on the menu at the side and go to our downloads folder and there is the classic shell utility installer that we've downloaded so go ahead and double click on that and start the install process and it will pop up with a welcome uh, message and after a few seconds it will give us the button to proceed we can click next and it will take us to a standard license agreement we can scroll through and read that if you want to now we can't proceed without accepting it so we need to tick this little box here to accept the license agreement then we can click next and move to the next screen which will take us to the custom setup which we don't want to do we want to install it as it comes so we don't change anything we can see that it's going to install into our program files folder on the C drive so we'll leave it as it is and click next and then finally we'll just confirm well yes we want to install this utility and it will install away for us you might have to click a another box if you've got user account control running which Windows does and it installs very quickly and if we want to we can choose to uh, look at the readme file which we're not going to do we don't really need to so untick that and just click finish and then we can close the box that we've got open from before and at first glance it looks like nothing's happened as it installed well as soon as we click on the uh, we'll refer to it as the start button down in the corner we get an, an options box we get a customization box where we can customize this utility and we can choose immediately which start menu we want to use whether we want to the first option there the classic style is very much like the Windows XP start menu uh, the, the middle option there looks a lot more like Windows Vista and then the option that we're going to choose the third one is the Windows 7 menu uh, which I think is the best it gives us a lot of options um, and it's just the best one uh, but again it's personal preference uh, what you want to choose there's some other things here we can make the uh, start menu look more classic if we wanted to uh, but we're going to not going to do that on this occasion but if you prefer you can come and mess around with these settings to make it look like you want to now if we look along the top you'll notice there's some tabs at the top there with some more options that we can choose and if we look at basic settings we can see that there's some some more things we can do for instance what's going to happen when we click the start menu uh, we've set it to get the classic start menu which is what we want but there are things too if we can hold down the shift key and press the start button um, that can flick us over to the metro screen because there might be occasions when we want to go back to that but also what happens when we press the windows key on our keyboard uh, we can decide uh, we can do nothing it can pop up the menu again for us um, but I prefer this this option here where uh, looking when we're in classic desktop mode as we are now pressing the windows key will give us the menu as we want but if we do accidentally end up in the metro screen we can use the, the windows key on our keyboard to bring us back to the desktop mode there are other things too we can decide what the start options do shut down options uh, really you can look through this and it's down to personal preference you can customize as much as you want to but also we can customize what happens in the start menu too when we click on things for instance if we look at control panel we can click on the control panel and it will open up a box uh, with the control panel in which we're used to but we can set it so when we click on control panel in the start menu it just gives us a pop-up menu and we don't actually have to go into uh, into the control panel again everything here is personal preference you can decide what what it all does and so when we're ready and we're happy we can just uh, click OK and save those settings and look what happens now when we click on the start button what happens is we get lo and behold our good old start menu and we have our all, pro all programs back where we can browse through we can pick the programs we want to run we can find where they are 
we can see everything we've got installed just as we used to be able to do um, which is great it means we can get on and do what we want to do now without getting frustrated we can also um, look on the right hand side and we can open our personal folder with all our our um, files in there we've got music downloads we've got control panel Do you remember I said we click on that and it will open the control panel but if we wanted to we could hover over that and it would give us another pop-up menu there some people do like that we've got run command and we've got our search bar back which means we can just type in and instantly search for things uh, on our computer and here's our shutdown options again we can easily shut the PC down the laptop down if we want to now do you remember I said if we hold the, con the shift key we can go back to our Metro screen and uh, go back to our desktop easily clicking the Windows key on our keyboard brings up the menu now but if again if we end up in the Metro screen we can just press our Windows key and it gets us back where we want to be and really that's it we've we're back as we want we've got a very good modern fast version of Windows but we're back in the environment where we can get to everything you want very quickly we've got a start menu um, we can do everything you want and it's very familiar and very productive and now we've got an excellent version of Windows and hopefully this will be the end of your frustration as it was mine it can be very frustrating Windows 8, Windows 8.1 but now uh, we're back to normal almost except underneath we do have an excellent fast version of Windows so I, I certainly hope this has been helpful to you I hope uh, you'll enjoy your Windows uh, environment now thank you for watching my video please like it and subscribe to my channel there'll be a lot more videos in the future and please do uh, ask if you want anything in particular goodbye